In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this effect where you can zoom through a word, through a letter and reveal a video. And that is right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a 1080p composition created, we can now begin by creating a brand new title. So we'll go File, New, Legacy Title. Now from here, you'll see the new title window. And normally I'd just say press OK, carry on, because this is going to be set to whatever your composition is set to. But because we're going to be zooming in on our title later on, we want to make sure that this is as high quality as possible. If we set this to 1080, then unfortunately it means that when we zoom into the footage, the footage is going to look all fuzzy and blurry and low quality. So we want to triple this or quadruple this. So let me load up my calculator. Calculator. So 1920 times 4 equals 7680. So we'll set the width to 7680 and the height 1080. Of course, I could probably do this in my mind, but it's going to be quicker to do it here. 1080 times 4 equals 4320. I probably would have got that wrong, to be honest. Press OK on this. And now from here, you can just go ahead and create your title like you normally would. So we're just going to select the T icon, select anywhere in this black video and just type out a word of your choice. So I'm just going to type out Brooker, that's B-R-O-O-K-E-R. -E select all of that will increase the font size all the way up to a much higher number. So we'll pull that up to around 1,200, 1,400 maybe. We'll change the font to Avenir. We'll increase the weight of this to heavy and we'll change this to solid white. Then you just want to center this up in the very middle of your composition. We'll exit the legacy title window and you can just drag that onto video layer two. It's really important that this is on video layer two. Now, as you will see, if we select the motion tab, we're just zooming in on the O and that is because this is much bigger than our 1080p composition. So we'll pull the scale all the way down so that these blue lines fit the edge so we'll make that 26 and then we'll go back into our title window. And it's really important here that we go ahead and create a background on our title layer. So we'll go down on this tab on the right. We'll go down to background, select background, and you can go ahead and select any color of your choice, but I'm going to keep this as black. Then we can exit this again. The reason why we have to do this is because by default, the title is created on a transparent background, which means when we drop our footage onto video layer one, you would see that title underneath the text. So this is with the background and without the background, it would look like this. So it's really important that we keep that background there. So from here, we can go ahead and drag our footage back onto video layer one. We'll keep that there. And now we can create this zoom effect. So. Roughly a few seconds in, we'll create a brand new keyframe on our scale and position on the title. So position, scale, then we'll go roughly five seconds to the right and we'll increase our scale all the way up. And you just want to position this so that you travel through one of the letters. So we're going to go through this O here. So we'll increase the scale so that this white fills the screen almost there up to around 1500. And we're there. So if we play this back, you can see we get this really nice zoom in. And as you can see, the edges are starting to go a little bit fuzzy, even though we had this quadruple. If this was 1080, this would look really low quality by now. Now from here, we're just going to select all of those keyframes that we created. We'll right click on one of them, select temporal interpolation and select ease in. This means we're just going to slowly ease into that animation rather than just rocketing into that first keyframe. Now at the moment you can see it looks a little bit too fast at the beginning and then it slows down. So we'll go to those first set of keyframes and we'll go to the right, maybe a quarter of the way through, create a brand new keyframe on the scale and position and we'll pull these second keyframes over towards the middle. Essentially, what it's going to do is it's going to slow down that initial movement at the beginning. If it's still a little bit too fast for you, then you can just pull this even further to the right. And that's going to create this really nice, smooth effect. So now we've got the movement of the text. We now need to go ahead and we need to turn this white text 
into a transparent layer. So I'm going to copy this title. So I'll go option on the keyboard, we'll hold option and we'll drag the title onto video layer three. Don't let go of option and that will copy. Then we're just going to temporarily turn off video layer three. So we'll select the eyeball, select the title on video layer two, we'll go into blend mode and we'll select multiply. So as you can see, we can now see the video coming through behind the title. Turn video layer three back on and roughly halfway through that movement, we'll create a brand new keyframe on the opacity at 100%. We'll move towards the right and we'll pull this down to 0%. So if we now play this back, you can see white title starts to fade out and we can now see the video coming through. Of course though, it would be really nice if that movement from the title carried on into the movement of the shot. So we're going to recreate that. So where we see 100%, the keyframe on 100%, we want to create a brand new keyframe on the scale and position on our video. And then we'll go all the way to around here. So at the end of that movement, so that last keyframe here, and we'll create another keyframe on our scale and position on our video. Now we'll go to that first keyframe and we're just going to increase the scale up to 120. And if we play this back, you can see we've got this nice zoom out. Of course, because the title is four times higher than 1080, it might be a little bit glitchy. So if it is jumping like it is in my example, then you can just go to full, select quarter, or alternatively, you can press this spanner here, the settings, go pause resolution quarter, and playback resolution quarter. And that will play back a lot smoother now, as you can see. So there you go, we've zoomed in, we've got our text, the movement is there. We need to add some keyframe interpolation or some temporal interpolation onto these keyframes. So we're smoothing out that movement again. And there you go, that is the effect now complete. That is how you zoom into your title to reveal a video. This is one of those effects that you think should be more difficult than it is, but it's actually quite simple to be honest. So all that's left for me to say now is thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will hopefully see you on the next video. See you there.